Alright, so today we have a empties video. I like to do these because I like to give you guys kind of like small reviews on things that I may not talk about otherwise. I didn't breathe at all. I have like 10 videos I have to film right now, but I feel like this took priority because it was no longer a bag of empties. It was like a corner of the room of empties. So I have a whole bag of shit. I have a whole half of a sparkly cupcake of other stuff. Let's start with the sparkly cupcake. Alright, so the first thing I have is this Veet Spray-On Cream Hair Remover. You guys know I'm all about the hair removers. Uh, I have a lot of it. consider myself a bit of a hair remover connoisseur. I've tried the cream version of this, the shower version of this, the Nair stuff, waxing, sugaring, all of that good stuff. I really like this stuff. I basically use this stuff either when I haven't shaved my legs in a while, when you don't have a boyfriend problems, or on the bikini area. It's a pretty freaking good job of taking everything off. If you need a good hair remover, I would recommend trying this one out. I also like this because it is spray form. It's a lot lighter. It's not like a thick cream so it won't like clog your shower or anything. Yeah, like this. Then we have another shower product. This is White Rain for Men Body Wash. You guys know I like my man body washes. I usually use the Axe one that doesn't really smell like a guy. It's like the pink one. I mentioned in another empties video. I was at Dollar Tree and I was feeling a little cheap, so I went with White Rain. This is one of those body washes that doesn't really like, it just goes by really fast because it's, there's something about it, you know what I mean? It smells good, Dollar Man body wash. Next, I tried out this new Clairol Expert hair dye. This is in the shade 3 Black. It has Pantene on here, so I was thinking it would make my hair like really shiny and Pantene y like Pantene usually does. I like how my hair looked afterwards. It did feel shiny and nice and soft, but it definitely did not last as long as my normal Revlon Color Silk hair dye. This faded way faster. I have to dye my hair like badly right now, hence the headband. The Revlon stuff freaking stays in. But even when my roots grow out, the rest of my hair is at least still black. This one kind of just like faded everywhere, so I won't be repurchasing this. Next I have the L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the Rosemary Mint Scent. I freaking love these shampoo and conditioners. I repurchased them, I don't even know, probably like five or six times now. These are the best shampoo and conditioners I've ever found. The bonus points is sulfate free, which means that if you dye your hair, it won't strip your hair of its color. Most sulfate free shampoos do not lather. This one feels so nice and conditioning and lathering and amazing. I swear by this stuff. Then we have Revlon Color Stay in 110 Ivory. This is like, I cleared this thing out. You guys know this is like one of my favorite, all time favorite foundations. 110 actually is a little bit too pasty white for me. My favorite thing lately is to mix this in with Elf Acne Fighting Foundation or the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I have a whole video on that, like my foundation routine using this right now. This is one of those foundations that I just always find myself going back to. Just amazing coverage, lasts all day, doesn't break me out, is light enough, everything I could ever ask for. Then we have these Equate Makeup Remover Wipes. These are supposed to be comparable to the Neutrogena ones that are like my holy grail makeup wipes. They're not. I think these are like $3 or something versus $5 at Walmart. Five or six dollars. Neutrogena wipes are freaking expensive. The Neutrogena ones just are something that's worth the money to me. These aren't bad. Like if you're just looking for an all-over face wipe, they do the job. Just the material of the cloth isn't as soft and for my eyes they don't remove the waterproof eye makeup as well as Neutrogena does. But if you don't use wipes for your eyes then I think these are a great alternative. They kind of like tug on my eyes and they were just harder to remove the makeup. Next time I will be going back to my Neutrogena wipes. Alright, now we have this whole bag of shit. First we have two deodorants. These are the Lady Speed Stick and Powder Fresh. Nothing too exciting. This is just what I use. You can get it from Dollar Tree. That's where I get it. I like these. I always go back to these and they're a dollar. This is how long I've had these empties sitting here. I do have a Neutrogena wipe that I've also gone through. Again, my favorite, kind of already talked about these. Suave Dry Shampoo. This is the Keratin Infusion one. I have tried a few of the Suave Dry Shampoos. They are my favorite. Be aware that if you have dark hair, sometimes you might get a little bit of the white, but you just rub it in and it goes away. It smells good. It works amazing. Like, this thing actually works, and it's probably the cheapest dry shampoo that I've come across. I always end up going back to this one. I don't know why I even kept this for an empty video. <laughs> Bag for cotton rounds. That's about all I have to say about that. Then I have baby wipes. This is the Shea Butter Scent from Target Up and Up brand. I like how these have this kind of uh, open and close thing, lid, what is the word? I don't know. I always mix my foundation on the back of my hand, so I just like to keep these at my makeup station to just take it off and clean everything off. Always have these. I threw this in here because it is empty and I don't know why it was just sitting in my closet. This was probably from like 
over six months ago when I was using Proactive Plus. I forgot to mention this in my acne update video, but I did go on Proactive Plus senior year of college, so a, over a year ago now. It really helped, but then my skin got really used to it and I started breaking out again. And I did like this exfoliator. Probably won't be repurchasing it just because I feel like my Neutrogena one does an amazing job as well. But yeah, was on Proactive. Okay, so then I have two makeup products, which I have finished. This is the Maybelline Dream Wonder and 10 Porcelain Ivory, and then the Benefit Professional. I've talked about these both 5,000 times, so I'm just going to go over this super quickly. Love this stuff. It's amazing, but it breaks me out. Same exact thing with this. If you want to know my full thoughts on these, I've talked about it in my December Raves and Rejects and like 10 other videos. Another product that I've talked about 5 billion times, this is my Physicians Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. This is my Holy Grail eyeliner. I've been using this for probably a year, over a year, a year and a half now. I don't even know. It is amazing. I use this in every single Shadow and Schmooze video, so you've seen it in action if you watch my videos. If you buy this, make sure you buy the Ultra Black shade, not just the black shade, because the Ultra Black is where it's at. Then I have a couple concealers. The first is the Revlon Age Defying Concealer in the lightest shade. I love mixing this with my NYX Lavender Concealer, the HD Concealer. Mixed together, they have a perfect amount of coverage and consistency. I do like this by itself, but it's just too dark for me, the lightest shade. So if you don't have pale skin, you should be fine with just this on its own. I think it's a great drugstore concealer. Next is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Again, this is also way too dark. I love the consistency and formula and creaminess and everything of this concealer, so I wish it wasn't too dark. Whenever I use this, I just put like my white Sedona Lace Powder over top to lighten up the under eye. So that's kind of like a way to get around that, but to me it's like I might as well just use a concealer that's actually light enough for me, you know what I'm saying? Another one of my Holy Grail Physicians Formula products, this is the Mineral Wear Correcting Powder in the shade Translucent. Oh, this was translucent. Oh, crap. I don't know if there's a translucent and a translucent light. I definitely returned the translucent because I thought I bought the wrong thing. Anyways, this is my favorite powder to set the under eyes. Just everything you could ever want in a setting powder for under the eyes. If you have paler skin than I do, you could use this as an all over powder. I've probably gone through like 10 of these at this point. Next we have a beauty sponge. I don't know if this is technically considered an empties, but I'm throwing it out so that's what I'm considering it. This is freaking disgusting. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like makeup full on caked up on here. Let me know if you have a good method for washing your beauty blender because I use like the beauty blender solid and everything and my stuff just never comes out of it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. This is the Real Techniques makeup sponge. I've never tried the beauty blender, but I do love this thing. It's like six bucks or somewhere around there. If you like a really like kind of dewy, flawless face, I recommend trying this thing out. Then we have some toothpaste. This is the Crest. 3D White Luxe Toothpaste. I think I mentioned this in every single empties video. Favorite toothpaste. Makes your teeth really nice and white. I also use the Crest 3D White Strips, which I've been getting a lot of questions lately about uh, whether or not I white my teeth, and I do. I use the Crest 3D White Strips. A few more products. I think we're doing good in this under like 15 minutes. Wet n Wild Mega Plump Mascara. This is the waterproof version. Not a fan of this. I just had this sitting around, so I was using it for my bottom lashes. The brush is pretty freaking big, so not ideal for bottom lashes. I love my Wet n Wild. That's an intense look. I love my Wet n Wild Mega Length mascara. Just like gets in your bottom lashes perfectly because the bristles are so tiny. Won't be repurchasing this. Lip Soul Lip Balm. I bought this because Holly E's lipstick is like obsessed with it, and if Holly mentions it, I buy it. I love the mintiness of this. I'd probably repurchase this. But I do really love my Carmex lip balm. That's like my holy grail lip balm that I wear every single night. This is a good one for me to like throw in your purse kind of lip balm. The Carmex is like a really intense overnight kind of thing. I just coat that shit on. Last product is Jergens Natural Glow Medium to Tan. Don't ask me why I bought Medium to Tan ever. This was another one of the products like the Proactive where it was just sitting in my closet pretty much empty. I don't tan at all anymore, so I figured there's no point in just keeping this around. It's probably expired anyway. This was from like over a year ago. I don't even know. I used to be all about the self-tanning, and then I have a whole video on this, so I'm not going to go into it. If you want to know why I stopped self-tanning, I'll link my How to Love Your Pale Skin video right here. It goes in-depth about 
how I grew to like my pale skin. So that was everything. I am so freaking excited to go eat a burrito and also just to put this in the recycle. If you guys like this video and you want more empties videos, be sure to give this a thumbs up so I know. I do have, did I mention this at the beginning? I don't think so. I do have a whole video on the eye look I'm wearing right now. It is a eye look and review of the Pantone Sephora palette. I will link that down below if you want to see that. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.